every every day we have a period of several hours when we don't move our body at all and that's when we're sleeping so today I'm going to share with you every day we have a period of several hours when we don't move our body at all that really still every day we have a period of several hours when we don't move our body at all that for me really stiffens up my body so today I'm going to share with you my stretching routine my morning routine to open up my body and feel great we have five different stretches that you combine in any in any order you'd like so let's start off with the butterfly stretch with your feet together you're going to want to straighten up your body take a deep inhale and when you exhale you go forward now when you inhale lengthen your spine and fold forwards again inhale Inhale. Mm, and just stay here and feel the stretch. Try to surrender. Okay, now bring one hand, arm or elbow sideways and open up your arm breathe <sighs> try to bring this father knee to towards the floor <sighs> switch sides if this is your first video watching me, I'm Tom, Professor Manjingeu. I've been teaching capoeira since 2008, and I've been training capoeira since 2002. This is my channel, it's all about helping people start learning capoeira and dive deeper into the art. Okay, now go back to the middle, bring your legs together, lean backwards, okay, our next stretch is going to be the fetal position, you sit on your heels, you bring your hands forwards and you bring your stomach on top of your thighs. And again, surrender, place your forehead on the ground. And you can even try and press your forehead to the ground. For me, I feel as my dominant leg is a bit more, uh, it hurts a little bit. And I like to lean onto it, then I feel a deeper stretch. Now bring your left hand to the left. And grab with your right hand your left wrist. Inhale, exhale, and to the other side. Always incorporate breathing. Okay, now go on your palms and round your back this is called the cat pose if i'm not mistaken we're going to move our spine or or is it the cow pose and then look towards the ceiling and round your spine towards the floor and keep going round your spine once to the ceiling and then to the floor the important part is passing through the two different positions. 
not going to the extreme in one of them. And try using your breath, your breathing. When you round your back to the ceiling, exhale. And when you bring your tail bone up, inhale. Let's go a little bit faster. Okay. Now bring one leg to the front and straighten your back leg, your back knee. Now try bringing your hips down as keeping your backwards knee straight. Inhale. Another stretch I like doing over here is placing my right arm on my right knee. And then I'm pushing my right arm and my right palm and creating a twist. This usually gets some cracking sounds that feels great. And also you can do it as a motion. Twist and you go back. Twist and you go back. Okay, now to the other side. Bring your leg backwards and bring the other leg forward. Straighten your back leg. Bring your thighs, your waist towards the ground. Place your palm on top of your knee and twist. Ooh. Inhale. Exhale. Mm. So, so far we had three stretches. Next is going to be squatting. With all of my foot on the ground, I squat down and try to straighten up my back. And then I try to bring my forehead towards the ground. Inhale, go up. You can even, even look towards the ceiling. And then exhale. Go down. For me, I know I have more weight. You can, I can even see it from here. I don't know if you can see it. I have more weight towards my left leg. So I try to bring some weight to my right leg to even it out. And inhale. And exhale. And the fifth straight, the fifth position is straightening our legs. You can even keep them a little bit bent. And resting your arms where, wherever is possible for you. You can either have it um, not moving much and just relaxing over here. Relax your head and your neck. And when you inhale, try to lengthen your spine towards the ground. Or maybe when you exhale, it's more possible. You inhale. And then you exhale. And then usually I stand up. I'll go a little bit backwards so you can see me well. And I look to both sides, loosen up the neck. And then I do the same with the shoulders. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, please give it a like. It will help it get to more people. Now loosen up, loosen up your hands. Let them hit your body. Keep breathing. Okay, now twist even more. Let your heel 
leave the ground, look backwards. And now creating circles with your waist. By the way, if you want to get a free 15 minutes capoeira workout for all levels, it's my own personal workout, switch sides. You can get it for free and you can do it right after this video. The link is, is in the description box down below. Again, a sideways stretch. Inhale. I also offer um, online courses, one for beginners who, who doesn't have experience with capoeira, there you learn the basics. The second is the capoeira Angola, when you learn a unique style of capoeira. And a new one, capoeira mio Gio course, it's another different style of capoeira, very interesting one. And uh, we have two more uh, moves we want to do today. So stretching up and then rolling one vertebrate at a time until you reach the floor. This is called the Jefferson Curl. You can even close your eyes. And we're going to go up and down three times. Keep breathing. So all of the courses I mentioned, you can find in the description box. Keep going up until your hands reaches the ceiling. You can also find in the description box the shirt that I'm using and these awesome barefoot shoes. Last time. At the end of this video, I'm going to offer you another video you can watch, a very cool one which teaches you a, a cartwheel variation called Audi French. It's cartwheel when you finish with your face with turning uh, forward. I'm going to show it to you once when I'm done. Okay, lastly, we're going to do something a little bit weird. We're going to shake our body just like this. You can close your eyes. <sighs> Beautiful. Now I'm going to show you OG French once so you can understand what the video is going to be about. <laughs> 